Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are playing everything. I mean, not every video game. The video game called Everything. It came out earlier this year for uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, and PS4. It was a uh, uh, simulation game developed by David O'Reilly and published by Double Fine Productions. And it's intriguing. I've seen some screenshots of the game. Um, people have had a lot of nice things to say about it. And it's very weird. It's very weird. It's very out there. And it is a simulation game where you can take the form of any object. What on earth? I don't know. So we're going to learn together as I press enter and begin a new game. This game belongs to... Steven? That's me. I'm Steven. What the... Last to move... Uh, mouse to view. So I am playing this on, uh, on Windows. But as a reminder, it's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and PS4. Press X to think. What happened before now? I... It's a good question. Am I some sort of, like, quirk? How long has this been going on? <laughs> okay. Am I, like, the start of the Big Bang? What should I do? Whoa. I'm... I became a rhino! I'm... I'm... I'm a rhino, I guess. Okay. Thoughts info added under help. <laughs> when you, uh... When you walk, you just... You just roll. You just roll with it, baby. And, and I'm rolling with it. You are rhino. Opened animal category. Okay. I am Rhino. Here are other Rhino. <laughs> cool. And I'm, I'm like wiggling. There's some, some icons out in the distance. There's also some other things around. A goat. There are goats. Goats around. There's also some sort of birds. The birds have animations. They're flapping their wings. Apparently, flapping our wings was too difficult. Um, all right. So before we get too far into this, things, animal, rhino. Uh, a rhinoceros, often abbreviated to rhino, is one of any five extant species of odd-toed ungulates in the family Rhinoceratidae, as well as any of the numerous extinct species. Um. Sure. Uh. <laughs> help? Navigation. Alright, this might help us understand exactly what on earth is going on in this drug trip of, of a game. Move. Uh, left shift is sprint. Enter confirm. Cancel pause. Flock mode. Okay. Uh, transform. Some abilities may not be unlocked. Abilities are unlocked by following the thing. The icon. Okay. Gather. Scale. Think. Open mind. Dance. That's important. Ascend, descend, release, join, sing. Okay. I'm going to try and remember some of these here. Um, so, E is transform, which we can't seem to do. G is gather. Um, was V join? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I think what we need to do is head towards this icon. This icon is probably where we're going to learn a new something. Because right now we are a flipping rhinoceros. And I, I don't mean that in a crude way. I mean we're literally flipping around here. Press X. Hi, Steven. You found me. Finally. We've been waiting for you for such a long time. Notice my thought had the everything icon. Look out for others with this. We're here to show you what you're able to do and help you navigate everything. Good luck. So things with the everything icon unlock abilities. Keep an eye out for them. Okay, I'm ready to give up thinking. Watch me do it. Here goes. It's hard. Almost. Nope. This game has a very particular set of, uh, of humor. Everything sings. 
Singing is how all things communicate. Singing helps things find or avoid one another. It deepens bonds between some things and separates others. It's how things announce their existence. So, sing. Sing all day long. I want to hear what you sound like, and so does everything else. If other things hear you, they might sing back. Sing to other animals. Press space, middle mouse button when near them. So I can press space to do this. And it's funnier because I'm on my butt. I'm making I'm making noises. So something there's something over there that has a thought. This is so wild. It's just I'm out in the desert with things rolling around. It, let me find another rhino. Rhino, rhino friends. There's a snake. Hey snake. It sang back. I am deepening this bond of friendship. Okay, bye snake. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling on. Oh, we're talking. I'm doing a really sweet headstand. Oh, I got the gold. Oh, are you assuming the mating position? Oh, okay, no, I'm moving on. All right, bye. Oh, there's a rhino up here that has a thought. I would love to know what this fellow rhino thinks. Hello, fellow rhino. Uh, fellow Rhino, you're off on a great adventure. I wish I could join you. Maybe one day I'll be able. Sorry, I feel like this... This image right here sums up this game so well. This. This is everything. This is everything the game. Head-standing rhinos communicating. Okay, uh, let's move on, shall we? Let's figure out something else. Now, that everything icon is what unlocks stuff, which is of interest to me, but I don't see... Oh, wait, there it is. I was going to say, I don't see the round. And if I hold sh left shift, I book it, man. Oh, a turtle. Nice to meet you. Bye. doop loop 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 I'm the rhino. Hey, how far back do you think rhinos go? You might not always feel it, but you look trill it but you took trillions of generations of rhinos getting mixed all up all the way back to forever. It's incredible you made it through and finally arrived here. The other rhinos around here are reflections of you from back then, each with their own dreams and their own lives to live. As you meet other rhinos, you will sometimes feel inseparable from them and find where you really start and end is up to you. Other rhinos are nearby, join them by pressing or holding V when close. Okay, you guys are zebras. You ain't you're not my, my, my tribe. Where's my where's my rhino people? Rhinos! Rhinos! Press feed to join that rhino. I did it. Oh my god, I control two rhinos. Are you kidding me? I'm controlling double rhinos. Press V to join it. Now I control these rhinos. I have four- What is this game?! Are you kidding me?! I have an entire fleet of rhinos. What is happening? Hey, rhino. What is going on?! I'm- I'm a herd of rhinos! We're just traveling the land! All right, hold on. I could probably get some more rhinos in this group. Rhino. Rhino. <laughs> I don't understand. I love it. I just don't understand what's happening. What? What is this game? Uh, something over. Something over there is having a thought. It might be a rhino. Quickly, rhino family, go. Oh, it's not a rhino. What do you want? No, you had the thought. I wanted to hear it. Oh, it's gone. If there's no thought to open. Okay, the thought left. It had a thought. Oh my god, there's so many rhinos. There's another thought. Hey, quickly, towards the thought. And the everything icon. We might learn new tricks. Oh, a rock. Some things will help you on your journey. Other things are just thinking about themselves and the situation they're in. 
You can trust all of them or none of them. It's up to you. It's weird because this kind of presented itself as just this weird game that, like, you can just be whatever you want. But it, there's a, a very rough narrative going on. There you are. Over time, you might find there's no right or wrong path to take here. As you explore, you might feel that parts of you need to go their own direction because you can't control everything at once. At least not yet. Try letting go of a few things. Release some rhinos by holding or pressing C. So as I press C, I release the rhinos. Until it's just me. Okay, so I can... I can have a lot of rhinos. Can I join up with this? Just other rhinos. I can only join rhinos. Got it. Let me go back to the talking rock. Because the rock seems to... Oh, it's not a rock. There's a rhino over here that's got something to think about. As long as you keep moving in any direction you choose, that will take you where you need to go. Well, I like to hear that. Alright, so I'm just going to move in a direction. So it's very freeform. Like, there's a very rough narrative around. Um, you know, you keep getting little glimpses here and there of some sort of story. K kind of. But it's not really that important. It's just, no, you just spin around as a rhino. Now, I wonder if the rhino aspect was random. Like, I wonder if you start as a random animal, or if, if it's always the rhino. That I don't know. There's more stuff over here, and there's another rhino. Hey, rhino. Rhino, come with me. I want I want some double rhino power. There's another rock. I'm afraid to change because of what I have said and done before, and every other rock I might disappoint. I suppose I can't keep this up forever, though. What are you... What are, you, what are you talking about? You're a rock. I'm sorry, it's... I don't mean to be rude, I just... I don't understand. Like, you're a rock. Do I have... Do I have some rhino... I got... I got rhino... Rhino powers, man. There's another thinky. I need... I need another everything icon. Remember this place and remember what you are. Keep it in mind as you go beyond here. You might need to find a way back to it. What? Really? Like... So that that's one of the things I was thinking about. Like, the world seems very reasonably uh, procedurally generated. Probably not, based on screenshots and stuff I've seen, definitely not all in the desert. Is it procedurally generating stuff? Like, if I, if I attempt to go backwards? I don't know. Like, will it still... Like, will it still be there? I un unlocked an achievement, Traverser. Maybe I have to collect a bunch more or something in order to get the next thing. If there's no thought to open, hold left ship when moving to speed up. Okay, so I'm... I'm moving. There's these weird yellow things I've seen, but I don't know what they do. They're just... creepy things in the desert, and I'm not sure what... Oh, everything icon. There we go. Come on, boys! We gotta learn something new! Hey, what do you make of all the small things around here? All the little plants and creatures? Are they here for you, or are you here for them? It's hard to imagine that everything could be here for each other, because you can only see things from a rhino's perspective, just as I can only see from an acacia's perspective. But if you want to, you can always see things from a little thing's point of view. Try it. Descend. Get close to something small. Hold down the left uh, button. Uh, use a uh, release and button to enter. Okay, so... There's nothing smaller than you enough to enter. Okay, I need something smaller. Something smaller. Uh... May I... So this thing? Zebra? Zebra's smaller than, than me. Did I do it? I'm a zebra! You are zebra. Added under animal. Bonding info added under help. Okay, so now I've unlocked another thing. My god, this would be a heck of a completionist game. So that's Rhino, but I also have Zebra. Zebras are several species of African equids, a horse family, united by their distinctive black and white striped coats, as I'm sure you probably knew. Um, and then it said, I learned some, some other thing. 
glow thought can ascend, scale can ascend, can ascend thoughts. Bonding. When entering something new, move around and sing to form a bond. Bonding with the current thing is needed before you enter something else. You will hear a sound when a bond is formed. Bonding only happens, only needs to happen once per thing. Huh. Descend, sing, join, release. Oh my god. An autoplay. Everything plays automatically if not being controlled by a human. Autoplay goes, uses unlocked abilities to guide its behavior. This is such a weird game. But now, now I'm, I am Zebra. I am Zebra. Okay, uh, cool. And there's the everything icon already. Took a while to find on the last one, but this one, I, you know, came up pretty quick. Hi, friend. Looks like you've seen things from a little thing's point of view. Now you might be wondering what it's like to see things from the other way around, to see things from bigger things' points of view. Out of all the points of view you find, which one is the right one? Now you can hold right to ascend. Okay. So I just have to get close to something? Get close to something big, hold it down, select it, and release it to enter. Okay, so let's find something big. What's big? Can I become a mountain? There's nothing larger than you nearby. Okay, it can't be a part of the landscape. It's got to be like a thing. So you're, you're bigger than me. What is this? Okay. You are camel. I am Camel. Let me use my song. That sounds awful. But, on the bright side, I am Camel. I am Camel. Look at me go. Um, Alright, so I've learned some abilities. I can now basically inhabit other things. I haven't spoken to anyone in weeks. I think my brain is turning in on itself. I'm imagining things, hearing voices, seeing camels. None of this is real. Oh, let me sing to you, friend. I think it likes me. I don't know if it likes me or not. It had to... Oh, I was going to say, what's wrong with that thing? And then I was like, oh, it's a rhino. So I found all sorts of interesting things out here in the desert. Um, this game is... bizarre, to say the very least. So, I can't enter this thing. I can. I I am plant. You are a homo homolamena uh, selby. Now we have the plant category. I can travel around as a plant. So I'm just slowly but surely uh, unlocking things. Um, I can become even smaller. Oh my god, the scope of the entire game just changed. Time info under help. You are dead grass. Oh my god. Okay. You know what this reminds me? Oh my god, freaking ants. This reminds me... Can I become ants? And there's like scorpions? This reminds me of Katamari, except in reverse. Like in Katamari, you, um... You know, you're, you start small and then you get big. We change the scale again. Hey, man, what's up? I'm a scorpion. It doesn't really know... I have to, like, walk around a little bit. You are Deathstalker Scorpion. Well, of course I am. And I'm getting smaller. Now I'm a stone. You are Sand Chunk. Opened other category. This... Okay. Up to this point, it's been kind of funny. Like, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Now it's it's starting... You're starting to understand, like, the scope of things. So, animal. Arachnid. Other. Plant. Uh, and we're starting to get all sorts of interesting things. We got some animals. We got some arachnids. Um, holy crap. And obviously, when you're in this scale, like, you're still in the same world. But suddenly, everything is, is much much bigger. You know, it takes forever to get from one spot to another. There's something interesting over here. What is this? What is there? I find it a little difficult to say what the subject matter of this seminar is going to be, because it's too fundamental to give it a title. I'm going to talk about what there is. Now, the first thing, though, uh, that we have to do is 
to get our perspectives with some background about the basic ideas which influence our everyday common sense, our fundamental notions about what life is about, ideas of the world which are built into the very nature of the language we use and of our ideas of logic and of what makes sense altogether. And these basic ideas I call myth, not using the word myth to mean simply something untrue, but to use the word myth in a more powerful sense. A myth is an image in terms of which we try to make sense of the world. Okay, so apparently there's little narration bits that you unlock, which is pretty neat. Also, Wild Barley is slow. Oh, God. I need... So, I, I've become small. I was an ant. I was a rock! And I find that fascinating. That said, um... I'm I'm real interested. Oh, wait, you can just when you're real real small, you can just hit ascend. Did I become a boulder? <laughs> I'm a boulder. Um, I'm really interested to see how big I can get. You are rock, medium. You are medium rock. Do I have a I do I have a song? I do have a song, and you probably don't understand my song, giraffe. Wait, giraffe, come back. Giraffe, I want to I want to sing. It doesn't sing my song, unfortunately. Um, hmm. So, I can become a tree. So my scale just got bigger. What's my song for the tree? Ooh, all the other trees are saying hi! Oh, man! Open to the tree category. Wait, can I be- So, can I become a mountain? Ascend. Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Holy crap. You are sand continent. Opened land form. Oh wow. Okay, this just got this just got wild. So does that mean does that mean I can come over here and now I'm Ice continent? You are ice continent. So if I if I now go in here and I hit I don't want to ascend further. I want to go I want to descend into the ice continent. Okay, so now I'm I'm seagrass because I'm in the sea. I don't want to be in the sea. So I can at any point now, from what I can tell, I can sand continent over there. I can shouldn't I be able to ascend? Ice continent. Yeah, let me go up to Ice Continent, and then, um, descend into... Can I just hit Descend? Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. So now I'm here, and I'm a Cedar. And I just unlocked an achievement called the Swing of Things, because I'm getting the Swing of Things. I can ascend or descend without having to jump into an organism. I can actually just inhabit stuff. So now I can, um, I gotta remember right is for ascent. So I can just start inhabiting these things. Check me out. I'm a Megaloceros. I can talk to this mammoth. This is bizarre. This is so bizarre. This thing doesn't talk. Wait, what? Wait, what the piss? This will all make sense. Don't give up. Okay, uh, sure. You are roundhouse. Opened building, home category. So this, I think, is another narration. So I'm not going to play that, because I'd, <laughs> I'd rather talk. But there's homes. So does that mean that there's buildings? Like skyscrapers and stuff? I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen... From all I remember, I don't know if I've ever seen gameplay of this game. I've seen screenshots and I've read a little bit about it, but it was a while ago. Let me ascend. I need to ascend. Help me ascend to the skies. I have to get up 
Okay, I have to become a tree. Once I become a tree, then I can... Once I'm basically at the, the highest height that I can get, then I can go back to the continents. And once I get to the continents, I can look for, you know, other things here. So, sand continent. I don't want sand continent. There's something over there, though. What's this? I have to move around a little bit to know what it is. You are green continent. Okay. Green continent's good. That means that there's probably stuff here. So let me hit descend to go into the green continent. So I'm a tree. Um, there... Is there going to be sign of life? I'm a juniper. Added under tree. I've now filled out 4% of tree. That's not too bad. And there's a lot of different creatures on this continent. Um, I mean, the question is... are is there civilization? Is there, um, are there buildings? Are there people? We already saw that there was a roundhouse, so that means there has to be buildings, right? I don't know. We've went pretty small. Maybe I'm thinking too small. Maybe I should, maybe I should be going bigger. Let's ascend again. And now, let's, can we ascend further up? Doesn't look like we can ascend. So that's sand continent, ice continent. There's something else over here. Let's go over here and see what this is. Maybe rocky continent? Yes, rock continent. Okay, um, now that I'm rock continent, I've discovered 66% of landform. That's pretty good. Let's do... Descend. I am surprised. A rock. Slanted rock. Bless my heart. <laughs> Added under stone. So I, I get it. I now get it. I'm still confused because I think the game kind of taught me some stuff and it was like, eh, it's fine now. And I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And maybe there isn't actually no overall goal. But it is fascinating that you can just become things. I can't be... I want to... When the eye is lit up. I want to be a bird. And they're technically smaller than me. But I don't think I need to send for that. I just can't reach them. <laughs> I'll never be a bird at this at this rate. Okay, let me um all sorts of new animals there. Let me How do I I need to I need to get back up to the big yeah, a tree. All right, so now that I'm a tree, I can ascend after I get in my skin cuz so I'm a redwood. Oh, here's a new thing. Oh, that's good. Life mostly involves going out and entangling yourself with others. But I want to show you another way of getting mixed up. A very beautiful thing you can do, and that's dancing. To dance is to move in pattern and not towards anywhere in particular. To make yourself the destination and to enjoy never quite arriving. Dancing always takes two, but the more the merrier. Everything dances a little differently, so try doing it with different things. Join with two or more things and stop moving and press 8 to dance. Oh, that's right. So let me go over here and, and, and join up. Because I haven't joined with anything since I was animals. Oh my god. I'm now a forest. So, stop moving and press 8 to dance. A new red ward is ready to be born. Wait, is this mating? Are we having a tree orgy? Another redwood. And then they join in the dance? The eye at the top of the screen shows when new arrivals are ready. And you can see that the thing is filling up, and then it's ready. You can, you can keep producing redwoods. I don't know exactly why you would want to do that. You guys can see I've, I'm producing a lot. I've decided to make the redwood forest here on this rock continent. This is all so bizarre to me. You can just keep doing it. Okay, so now dancing is how you produce new things. So I, I must have reached the maximum. I can't make any more. So I can press 8 to stop dancing. And now I have just this huge redwood forest that follows me wherever I go. And it's just so crazy to me. So now I can ascend again. So it's just me. Sorry. Hope it's okay. Oh my god. Flying info under under help. So I am I am Earth. And I'm flying through 
the cosmos. I am green planet. And if I descend onto the moon, should be able to do that, right? Maybe? Mm, it, do it doesn't look like it's going to let me do moon specifically. It's just onto this own planet. Okay. What about... Let's see. I can, I can also sprint as a planet. So now I'm this planet. So I'm wandering around. I'm ringed sand planet. Added under planet. I will now descend into this new planet. Oh my god. I am alligator. Oh, they are not happy with that. They do not like that at all. I sang my song and they're like, Now nah, we're good, man. Please don't kill us. And I'm like, now nah, I just want to have fun. Hey, where did... There's a lion here a second ago. Apparently, we're cool. It doesn't really know what's going on. Hold on. If I become one of those things... Yeah. Let me... And then let me interact with the lion and see if anything happens. I just roll around. I'm a wildebeest. Let me go talk to these big cats. I, I kind of thought that they were just going to kill me. Hello, I exist. So, this game reminds me... For one, it's super weird. Um, but it reminds me of a cross between Katamari Damacy and Space Station Silicon Valley. The uh, old Take-Two Interactive N64 game where you play as a microchip that inhabits animals. That's what it reminds me of. And I think that's pretty, a pretty accurate description. It's very bizarre. Um, I don't... I don't know if there is a goal, but it's interesting. It's super interesting. You are coconut tree. And now, since I'm on a tree level, I should be able... Or I have to become a bigger tree. Yeah, I have to be a bigger tree. Now that I'm a bigger tree, I can ascend again. Look at me moving around. Did I discover what I am? No? Or have I been this before? Wait, what's this? Oh, God. Why can I be... You are a stepped pyramid. Opened building category. I mean, maybe there is no sign of civilization. Maybe that's not a thing. Um, or maybe it's on a continent I just didn't discover. Or on a planet. It could be on some other planet. I have no idea. It's just... This entire thing is so strange. All right, ascend. So back out here... Um, something bigger. The sun. Or, not necessarily the sun, but a star. You are sun. No, I'm the sun. I am the sun, baby. Ascend? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, wow. So now, I'm the solar system. And I'm wandering around the, uh, the galaxy. Holy crap. I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I clicked ascend and it said, not right now. And I was like, are you sure? You sure? I was like, no, not right now. So this... Um, let's see, can I get... I can't tell if the stuff over there is like part of the background or if I'm actually getting closer to it. Because there's a spiral galaxy over here. And I'm super intrigued. And also, what is is this game. So I'm going to fly over here. Um, and it doesn't look like you can... I don't know if you can actually join the other galaxies. You have your own solar system, and you can fly around the galaxy, but from what I can tell, it doesn't look like you can do At least maybe not right now. It might be something that's unlocked since I tried to ascend, and it was like, not now. Oh, wait, no, I can. No, you can. I'm now playing as a spiral galaxy. In the same game, I have played as a rhino, a rock, an ant, dead grass, and now a spiral galaxy. What is going on? So within this, I will now... Wait, you can ascend further. Oh my god. Okay, whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. These are universes. These are universes. I got chills. I got chills. I'm a big I'm a big um I'm a big I'm a big astronomy buff. And uh seeing this is just super neat. Wow. I'm going to descend back into galaxy mode, so I'm galaxy. Uh, you must bond with this first. Oh, I'm not the same... So now I'm an elliptical galaxy. So now I want to descend into my own galaxy. So I'm now the sun in my own galaxy. And I want to uh, pick a planet. I'm going to go back into this planet. So I have a ringed... Some sort of ringed ice planet. I'm now going to descend into the planet. And I am a floating... I'm drift ice. Of course I am. So, can I get to something smaller than me? <laughs> I don't know, there's not... Oh, I'm like, flying, man. I just soared. There's not a whole lot of stuff around here. On this lonely planet. There's other drift ice. I was hoping to become very, very small, but wow. Um, I think I, I should probably end this video. I'm very intrigued, if you couldn't already tell. Like, the scale and the scope of this game in both directions is astounding. And it's super weird, and I'd be lying if I said that I got it. I, I don't get it, and I don't know if there's anything to get beyond the fact that there is some weird, you know, stuff happening. So I can become this. I'm kelp. And you, you have to wonder if there's an entire world under the water, too, and you just have to wait until you become, you know, the right thing to allow you access to that. The answer seems likely. Seagrass. But I'm in an ice continent, so I don't know if there's going to be, like, fish under here. I spoke too soon. Yes. Hello. Holy crap. You know, this reminds me, I guess specifically because I'm underwater, it reminds me of Abzu, where you can play as all of these different creatures. You know, you just grab onto them and ride them. And, um... Except in this game, you can play as everything. In the entire universe. And and beyond. Multi-universes. Wow. Okay, I am uh, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this has been... This has been very interesting, very intriguing, and uh, I don't, I still don't get it, but I like it, and it seems like a really good way to casually, you know, play something if you just want to, like, really chill out um, and spend time just becoming rocks, then this is the game for you. Uh, if you do choose to get this game on the computer, consider using the uh, Humble Bundle link that we have uh, on screen or in the description box down below. All sales of the game using that link do help support Mal, myself, and the channel, and I do appreciate that, so thanks. Um, but it is also available if you choose not to get on the computer. This is all, uh, also on PlayStation 4. So you have some options there. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you next week for more First 20, and before I go, if you do have... Oh my god, I found another icon. God, I'm swimming towards it. If you have played this game before, and you learned, you know, something that I didn't see, feel free to share. I Oh, God. So there's basically, like, clouds. There's clouds up there, and the clouds hold, well, I can tell, the next step in this, but I have to catch them. Oh, my God. And I, I can't seem to... Thoughts are the friction between things and other things. Thoughts would never exist if everything thought it was the same thing. As you go around listening to things, their thoughts will make impressions on your mind. When you go out and experience life, you have, you will have your own thoughts. And they will reflect the things you've listened to and absorbed. Give thinking a go. Just try not to take it too seriously. When the eyes lit up, think by pressing X. Go! Need to you! What? So things can think now. So you continue to unlock even more bizarre stuff. Can I join with continents? The answer is yes. 
The bigger question means, can they dance? So I have four continents. Dance. Will they make new continents? The answer is yes. You can actually populate the world. Wow. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week for more Stephen Plays. First 20.